And hello guys, it's Daniel, welcome to the third aggressive basic tutorial. In this video we will learn the 180 and the 360. And to not waste time, let's begin and let's have fun. First, let's take a look at the proper posture and motion sequence for spins, for an 80s, 360s and other spins. As always, it's very important to keep one skate in front of the other skate. This helps us to maintain balance. So, should we lose our balance in front, we adjust by moving our leading foot more forward. And should we lose our balance in the back, we adjust by moving our trading skate more back. To get a good feel for the proper posture, try to seesaw and jump in this position. And you will see, you'll soft land using the proper posture. Also try to keep your toes and knee from the front skate and your shoulder in one straight line. And to be safe while jumping and doing spins, as you see in the video, we pay attention to maintain the proper posture the entire time, also while jumping and landing. Then try it out, hold the proper posture and jump in the air. In the air you want to turn 180 degrees and after that try to land in the proper posture. So there's a hint for you. Many people try to turn their feet before they have jumped, but that's wrong. First jump in the air, then turn your feet. However, you want to turn your body and gain momentum before you jump off. This helps a lot to manage the complete turn. Also remember to hold the correct position the entire time. At this point you should manage the 180 without your skates on. So try the same with your skates on. Put your skates on and repeat doing as many 180s as you need to feel comfortable. And remember the proper posture to jump and land. This you should repeat until you have internalized the motion sequence. And while doing so, you will also strengthen your muscles and improve springiness. And this motion sequence you should practice a lot. And then you can begin doing 180s by skating slowly. And now pay attention, while jumping, people are often just too lazy to tighten up their feet. But we want to prevent laziness, and therefore there is the wonderful crab. And the crab is not just wonderful, the crab is awesome. Jumping and crabbing, one or both of our skates will look much better. We will automatically jump higher and we get a better feel flying through the air. And lastly, it also helps us to maintain balance in the air. Well I know, at the beginning it can be very exhausting, but from time to time it will become easier. Just remember to grab your feet as often as you can to improve your springiness and jumps. So at the point you feel comfortable doing a crab, it's time to increase your speed step by step. Increase your speed as much as you feel great doing so. And then it's time for the next step. Try doing 180s while skating backwards, it's called a fakie 180. For doing that, skate backwards and look over your shoulder to the direction of movement. While doing so, try to do not turn your body too much. Just turn your head with the direction of movement. And before you jump off, bend your knees as much as you can, then push off to the air. And while doing so, turn your body to gain momentum for your spin. But hey, do not turn your feet while all reeds are touching the ground. And that's very important to feel comfortable doing a 180 while skating forward also while skating backwards. And believe me, there will be many situations in which we'll need a 180 to avoid a fall. And the last practice can be, try to do multiple 180s in a row or line. For example, try to do 180s over cones or other obstacles. But why should we do that? Doing multiple 180s in a line is one of the best methods to practice the trick. And while doing so, try to increase speed, step by step. Good, let's begin by learning the 360. Therefore we start by doing dry practice. For that again we pay attention to the proper posture. And the proper posture is the same as with 180s. And that's also value for 540s, 720s and further spins. So remember, it's very important to keep one skate in front of the other skate and it's also very important to bend your knees, then jump off in the air and then turn and land in the proper position. While landing the 360, it's very important that your toes point straight to the direction of movement. 
Also remember, in the air it's very important to tighten up your legs and knees. Because in case you don't manage the full cap, the turn of 360 degrees, you will be able to do a sidestep. And doing a sidestep is much easier if you have tightened up your legs. At this point it's time to put on your skates. Again repeat doing 360s without speed. And hey, I know, doing 360s without speed is a little bit harder than doing the rise skating. But it's a good practice and if you have managed a 360 like that, it will be easy to do a 360 rise skating. And now it's time to start doing the 360s by skating slow, increasing speed, step by step. Lastly don't forget, try to grab your feet for jumping higher. It also looks better and it helps you to maintain balance. And also don't forget the fakey one, the fakey 360. A 360 by skating backwards. Now it's time to improve our precision. For that we may use cones or something like that. So you will see, at the beginning it's hard to do multiple 360s over obstacles in a row. But it's normal. First you need to get a feel for the distance between the cones. And you need also a feel for the time you must jump off. Furthermore, you should also know how much speed it needs to have time for landing and jumping off between the rows of obstacles. But from time to time, you become better and better. And after a period of practicing, it will also become easy for different distances. And don't forget to practice the fakey 360s. So well, in my experience, it's easier to do a 360 or multiple 360s by doing a 180 first. If you do that, you can use the momentum of your 180 to do the 360 or to turn as much degrees you want. So let's take a look at doing fakey 360s. Doing fakey 360s is much easier by looking back over your shoulder. And hey, you should look back all of the time, but not while turning. So and lastly remember to the important points. While skating backwards, keep in mind to do not turn your body to the back too much. Repeat your 360s and fakey 360s as often as necessary until you feel comfortable doing so. Always remember the proper posture we've learned in the beginning. And at last it's time to mix your 180s and 360s and doing them in a row or as a line. Have fun with your training and skates and if you like we will see each other in the next video.